G'day, 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 and welcome back to the Behind the Tech Desk podcast. My name is Jake. My name is Dale. And we have some really cool things to talk to you about this week. We're going to be pumping this one out every week for the next couple of weeks. You're going to know it so well, it's going to be tattooed into your brain. In fact, we're offering tattoos at the Tech Desk for it. It's the SAE Olympics. We've spoken about it before. There are cool prizes to win. Um, There's going to be some free food, some really fun events. Um, There's going to be prizes. There's going to be prizes. There's going to be fun events. There's going to be free food. And also, you get the opportunity to uh, show which discipline is the best discipline. You can show that film just really isn't all that. Yeah, absolutely. If you're a game student and you want to compete in some uh, film competitions, go and do it. Show them who's boss. There may be less of you, but you can still kick at their knees. I just want to point out that um, Josh Black, our cameraman, just gave me the most dirty look at <laughs> the film comment. I take it back and I apologize if I've offended any film students. I don't take it back. <laughs> Get on my level. (laughs) Get on our (laughs) level. And Dale, there's some more interesting things happening next week, right? Absolutely. There is the SSCC. And for anyone who doesn't know what that is, that's basically an opportunity for all the students to go and talk to um, all of the department heads, um, basically to give us some feedback, figure out what's going on, um, see what's new. I'm going to be there. So I'm going to talk about all the cool new tech stuff we got going on, things we're looking at purchasing. (laughs) Um, But that's also an opportunity for you to tell us um, areas you think we need improvement. So maybe you really would like a particular type of lens and you can come and let me know. And I'll be like, no, no, I'm kidding. I'll take that feedback on board and we'll make it happen. Yeah. Maybe you want to get rid of a particular tech team member. Like Jacob. Like Jacob. And, um, you can absolutely voice your opinions on them there. Um, <laughs> the next episode of the podcast would just be me. <laughs> just, yeah, see you guys. I've been let go. Um, <laughs> next up, also next week on Tuesday, there's a murder mystery night happening from the D&D club. Uh, spoilers, it was Mr. Mustard in the green room with a guitar. All right. I guess we don't need to go. Thank oh, you very sorry, much. That's never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, it's really, really cool to see that the D&D club has been making all these really interesting events for you to attend. Um, they've done movie nights. They've done games nights. And a murder mystery night. I haven't done a murder mystery in a super long time. No, I think I might hang around and go to the murder mystery honestly, night. I, I'm, I'm Even though I already know who did it, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a look around campus, there are some posters up with some QR codes. I might even see if we can get the link from the D&D club to put in the description. I'll throw it down there. Beneath yeah. us. Which you'll also find the Olympic. Olympics, the uh, Olympic thing stuff. down there, yeah, so yeah, go yeah. sign up. Yeah, and a whole bunch of other links to a bunch of other things we've been doing. Moving on very quickly from there. Week 10 is coming up, which means it is our favourite time of year. It is survey week. That is when people like Elena and Shane are going to go around, give you a bunch of chocolates and tell you to uh, fill out the survey. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, the survey is the single most important document, other than your assignments, that you can possibly fill out at SAE because it's where... Um, I guess your feedback gets uh, heard, like the most direct way it gets heard. So if there's any uh, particular thing you need um, SAE to know, or uh, maybe you would like to see more me goring days, that's exactly where you'll let us know. Maybe you want Milo in the kitchen. I don't know. But um, put it in the description. Uh, not the description. Put it in the survey, and that'll go straight to me, and then I'll go buy all these cool things. And I think that's pretty exciting. I so. think that's pretty rad, and it's a great way for to let us know about upcoming equipment and things like that, just in case we're not on. We're not yeah, pretty absolutely. On top of it, but. And this is also for like your courses if you're struggling with something really particular in um your audio course or your film course. Um, that's the place to sort of mention it because that's the feedback that I guess the people above SAE are going to be looking at, uh, the people who write courses, the people who sort it out, out all that kind of thing. So um, make sure you fill out your survey. Also, there's a barbecue. There's a barbecue happening. For Need, we say more. Need we say more. Need we say more. Speaking of people who write your assignments and your assessments, uh, we did a little interview with Tim K this week, last week, at some time over the last fortnight. And uh, we might roll that one now for you all to see. Um, what would you say is your like specific, if you have one, of course, mm. um, skill set with animation? Like, what do you specialize in? Sure. <laughs> so my background is uh, from video games, hence why I'm an animation slash video game um, senior lecturer. But uh, yeah, I, I I worked for you know a good number of years in video games doing 3D art. Mm-hmm. Um, so mainly environment art, prop art, surface art, um, general layout stuff. Uh, some vehicle art I did for a while. Never professionally character art, but I've been in the last few years kind of really doing my own stuff in character art. So at this point, I'm kind of like a 3D art generalist, I guess, um, for, for, I guess, one of a better descriptor. But, um, you know, through, through that, both the industry career and what I've been doing, you know, in this job, getting my students to do, uh, I've definitely got a fairly broad technical understanding as much as the the kind of the artistic and creative stuff which i actually enjoy i enjoy both of those things like 
Wow, wasn't that super insightful? Oh man, and honestly, got a voice and face for podcasting. Yeah, like, absolutely. And what a legend. And buy him a beer. Buy him a beer. If you see him, buy him a beer. If you see Tim K, buy him a beer. Um, Tim K is our wizard of um, animation. So definitely uh, go chat to him if you have any questions about that kind of thing. Um, and you can check out the full interview down below. Um, but. M- <laughs> but uh, that's not the only interview we did this week. Uh, this week we caught up with Tri6 students Lindsay and Caden to talk about their um, short film their called Project, yeah. Torture Therapy. Yeah. So tell us a little bit, a little bit, give us like a synopsis of what the film is. So the synopsis of the film, essentially it's about a lonely CIA interrogations torturer who wants to befriend the subject that he's been hired to torture. Right, okay, right. And that that relationship between the two, which is arguably very unrealistic, um, seems to kind of catch up to them and, and uh, create some interesting drama. Right, that's okay. fantastic. So what you're saying is, it's not about the damage we do, but the friends we make along the way. Exactly. That's right, it. Yeah. That's yeah. it. So, so it's so, really a re- quite light-hearted movie with it, a lot yeah. of love to share. There's a big <laughs> big twist, though, at the end. So. Oh, yeah. well, so you can't go and tell us that? there's a big twist. you got to watch the film. <laughs> no, I'm not cutting that out of the episode. No, 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 no. That's, that's in there for no, good. No, no, no. It's really cool to get a sneak peek at student projects and where they're at in the whole process. Oh, absolutely. And it's what sort of gets me pumped for Showcase every single year. I'm super excited for it, and you guys should be too. 100%, 100%. Um, Now, lastly, before ending the podcast today, we wanted to talk a little bit more about student involvement. We've already got Josh Black behind the cameras over here. He's doing an absolutely fantastic job, and as you can see, we've now had some moving cam stuff going on. Um, Getting really technologically advanced in here. It's quite scary. Oh, absolutely. If there is... (laughs) If there's any interest that you have in podcasting, the world of podcasting, it doesn't necessarily have to be for behind the tech desk, but we could really use a little bit of help. Um, Maybe you want to come in and be someone who does some lighting. Maybe you want to help us out with editing. Maybe you want to take Pat's job and do the AI art for us. Yeah, do the thumbnails. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. The thumbnails for this podcast have been incredible. Oh, it's fantastic. Shout out to Pat. Buy him a beer. Buy him a beer. Buy Pat a beer. Buy the whole tech desk a beer. (laughs) (laughs) Please. But feel free to rock past the tech desk or send the uh, Perth Tech email. Email. That's perth.tech at se.edu.au um, and email uh, if you would like to get involved in some way, shape or form, whether it be walking around doing promotion, editing, uh, getting on the show, all that kind of thing. Feel free to contact us. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, thanks so much for watching the video again. Make sure you give it a like, give it a subscribe, show everybody that you know. Bring it up in the middle of your class and put it on the projector. Yeah, just you walk up to You might fail your assignments, yeah. but... I will appreciate it. We will. Just walk up to your lecturer and make sure that you hijack the computer from them. Be like, look, I know we were going to learn about editing today, but look at these two pros in their podcast and how, it looks, <laughs> how it's edited. Um, shout out to Stefan. Buy him a beer. I'm sure he loves how we edit this podcast. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's not, uh, not amateur hour at all. But anyway, like, subscribe, comment, do the whole thing, share it around. And mm. remember, the future is you.